there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of October 10th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrodraw.com. Uh, we've updated a bunch of things, added a bunch of new readers, and also partially fixed the signs section. So if you go to the site, click under signs and click on Pisces, it's a little more organized there, and you can definitely find awesome readers there like Marie Moore, of course, and uh, also new readers like Ro Gemstones, who's awesome, one of my new favorites. So definitely check them out, support them. Subscribe to their channel and all that uh, because it will help them out. So uh, thank you for checking that out to everybody who already has as well. But let's see what's going on for Pisces this week of October 10th. And let's see here. Yeah, definitely uh, keep, you know, stay positive at the beginning of this week. Don't allow any disappointments or anything like that to... Uh, to get you down, um, let's see here, let me just look at this. Uh, you start off with the Ten of Spades, which can represent worries and fears and, and griefs and things like that. It's coming up in this first position, so it's probably mostly old stuff that you're worrying about, especially if you're making changes. You know, this is a card that comes up a lot, like if, you're, you, if you are involved in some sort of transformation, like, so for example, maybe you're moving, or, you know, maybe you are... Uh, uh, getting into a new relationship or something like that so and maybe you're right at the beginning of that type of transformation and that's when we always think about like old things that we went through and we're like worried about safety nets and things like that so don't allow those fears and things to get you down uh this week and definitely stay positive because this can be a card of worrying it's a card of transformation though so it's still a good card um and next you have the ace of spades it represents existing problems being resolved so it does look like you will overcome a lot of these ops any obstacles really that you face and you'll blast right through them this is an amazing transformation card pisces i mean you know no doubt about it definitely going through some major transformations i mean even in the astrology there's a lot of transformational change type energy in a lot of ways i mean i think that uh you know jupiter uh here entering into our eighth house is like a pretty big deal um really and i think a lot of pisces will look back on you know this year um from now till next October really as like a very transformational time, uh, definitely. So especially once we get through November, when Neptune goes direct and things like that, I, you know, I, I just think it'll be, it's a great time for Pisces. So, uh, you know, just stay focused on that. But this is a big change card. Next, Ace of, Eight of Spades. Uh, take it easy this week. Don't, you know, don't go crazy with work. Don't go crazy with uh, anything that you're doing. This is a card of working too hard and not taking enough breaks, not drinking enough water, not, uh, you know, not taking care of yourself. Make sure you're getting plenty of rest, drinking plenty of water. Don't get sick. Don't allow it to happen. Also, also with this card, watch the, like, drinking and overindulgence. This can be a card where you drink too much and you regret it and things like that. So just uh, try to mostly stay healthy this week if you can. Um, and, and, you know, also take a break when you need breaks with this card. This is a card of like vacation. So if you need a break, take a break. Next, you have the Nine of Clubs, though. Very good card of recognition and receiving recognition and achieving goals and maybe achieving a certain goal that you've had as well. Uh, it represents progress towards those things. This can also represent new jobs and uh, it is a card of more responsibilities as well. So, we could take that and say, you know, more responsibilities, that could be a promotion, that could be a move, that could be uh, more money coming in as well, because that would obviously, um, you know, more money, more problems, that's what they say, right, which is negative talk, by the way, so don't say that, but uh, it can definitely mean that you need to be more responsible and things like that. Also a great card for ideas, any ideas you have, trust your noggin there and uh, trust any ideas you have, because you could come up with a lot of good stuff. Next, you have the Eight of Hearts. Eight of Hearts is another great card that can represent like a gift from the universe and getting some sort of gift from the universe. It can even be a card of you socializing. Get out there and socialize this week. Um, it, it could be important for you. This is also a great card for business. And um, it also is a card that allows you to be very good at negotiating and kind of like getting your way this week. So uh, don't be afraid to negotiate with people or, you know, try to get your way this week and things that you want to do. Other than that, it can even be a card of being 
kind of swept off your feet in love, so you might uh, meet somebody who really kind of sweeps you off your feet this week with this card. Uh, next, you have the Nine of Diamonds, a really great card of new things coming in for you, new energies, new beginnings, and all this other stuff. Uh, it can represent changes in finances. Um, it can even represent your finances raising, going up. You know, Jupiter, eighth house, can definitely increase our, it can increase the money that's going out, but it can also increase the money that's coming in. So in a lot of ways, it can kind of take us to the next level financially. So we might have to pay more for stuff or whatever, but we might also have more coming in to match it anyways. And and, and this card, you know, can definitely uh, represent that for us as well. So, you know, that's a very good thing. And it can also represent things like inheritance uh, and, and those types of uh, payments coming in with the Nine of Diamonds. And finally, you have the Four of Clubs. Double check everything that you do this week. I call this card Mercury Retrograde. Kind of represents the same energy. Just needing to double check everything you do. Make sure everything's, you know... Uh, correct and make sure all paperwork's right and everything like that. But this is also a great card of uh, <coughs> mental stability and more mental stability coming in, having us be more mentally stable and, and being able to see things actually more clearly as well. Um, even though it rep I call it Mercury Retrograde, still it allows us to still see things more clearly, especially if we double check what we're doing. So it looks like a great week. Uh, so thank you for watching and enjoy your week.